have had a number of health fears at my school. And health care in Northwest St. Elizabeth is at its worst. Recently, we had a health fear. And we had the dentist there. We had over 361 persons seeing the dentist. And trust me, the organization said, Principal, me have to go come back. Something right. The people need help. The people need help. When we look, our children, they are enduring stunting. We pity them now growing an artwist. Our children, they are suffering from malnutrition. I have seen the research where it said over 7% of children 5 years old and under are enduring stunting and malnutrition in Jamaica. And I know that Northwest St. Elizabeth is a part of that percentage. All these things must come to an end. Without our children, we don't have a future. And it must come to an end. When it comes to roads in Northwest, let me tell you something. I was traveling on a road from Mount Olivet to Pisgah, where teachers have to park the cars out of the road and then walk to school. Because our vehicle could not manage that piece of bad road. I wrote, I asked, and guess what? The member of parliament would have never fix it. Because guess what happened? He said, a PNP people living in a community, the road now fix. Nevertheless, being the warrior who I am, and I'm always fighting for the rights of our people, I decided that in a going stop there, the road must fix. And therefore, I went to a higher level. And I use social media and I use everything. And one day I got a message to say, listen to me. By March, you're going to see equipment rolling in. Because me tell them, so I'm forget a big chain. The one where they, can't, where they never use to change Paul Bogle for chain me. Because me go black half Northwest. Just to ensure say, we get good road. And I'm telling you, I am telling you, in no time at all, I see the equipment them start rolling in. And the roads were fixed from Springfield straight to Pisgah. And such man, such man right now, such man, he is taking all the credibility for that robot and him fix it. Because he never wanted it to be fixed. And guess what? After I fixed it, he sent a message to say, if me fly high or low, he might get rid of me from Pisgah. Me go back to an inch man, and me tell an inch man, tell him, say, anytime you ready, come. Anytime you ready, come. Let me tell you this. Education in Northwest is at its worst. Hey, look here. Our MP, where we have now, politicize education. Uh, only some principals get anything. And what them I get on nothing. I two little trophy and them little something there. We have schools, we have rat bats, we have school, we have look here, we built from 1901. And this man is here for 30 years. And our children are still living, are still sitting down in schools where water pour down every time when Mr. Reed there. Mr. Reed, me have to send Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed, go look over the side there. See if the rain has come. And if the rain has come, we have to send home the pitney them. And let me tell you something. When he's giving out book voucher, a few little pitney get it. You see me? You see me? That now happened under my... Yeah. Can't, can't, because here we're not west. Hear what? Hear what? Hear what? Hear what? A school to give out book voucher. A school to give out book voucher. Because our children are not JLP and PNP. And therefore, with me, I am going to ensure that all the book vouchers go to the schools. Because a principal and teachers must give out book voucher. We're going to staple it on the report card them. 
Because them water down education to the point where people don't have interest in education anymore, especially in Northwest. But I am going to ensure, I am going to ensure that we start having respect for education because it is important. And therefore, your book vouchers are going to be stapled to your report cards and you go in and collect them. No, no report card, no collect, no book voucher you don't get. Be serious about that one day. Because we need education. We need persons to be educated in Northwest. Everywhere we turn them say Northwest people are done. Are we done? No. Are we done? No. Are we done? No. Well, me know some me no done. And I know that all my past students who are here, some of them are teachers, please stand. my past students they are my past students and now they are teachers at my school and let me tell you something that is what I plan to do in Northwest to ensure that we empower our youths take them up from the level that they are at now and empower them to get the education that they need so they can play their part in building Jamaica let me tell you something imagine 30 years the man don't even have a bus stop. Not even a bus stop. You can't point and say, a JSC build that. Not even a bus stop. No in a Northwest. No, no in a Northwest. Where you can't say, a JSC build that. And I am a principal. And tonight I can proudly say to you, I am now building a school. $166 million worth of school. And JSC can do that. Then, I am telling you that I am here. I am here to ensure that education rises in Northwest. It is a must that education rises in Northwest. And I am here to make it happen. Time come for a change. And let me tell you something. Anyway, you see me as of today, you know what my new name is? Change. Anyway, you see me just say change. Anyway, you see me just say change. Anyway, you see me just say change. All right. Water. Comrade leader, we're having a serious water problem in Northwest. Serious water problem. And therefore, tonight, comrade leader, I am going to tell you that we need a comprehensive water system in Northwest. We have rivers, we have springs. And yet our people don't have water. Little most I lost this school because of lack of water. If I were not a warrior, today the school wouldn't be down there building. Because them try every little thing to see if they can push it off the table. The last thing they come with them say, guess what? You don't have no running water, so you can't get to school. Me say, what? <laughs> anyway, water if you come from, me I get me school. Two twos because they know who I am because when we start fighting, me now stop. I heard that more money was granted to build some extra tanks. So guess what happened? I am saying that we need a comprehensive water system in Northwest. Carisbrook people, there is a well in Carisbrook. The well has been there for 30 years. I don't know why these people continue to vote for JC. You have a well for 30 years. The well just want cleaning and the well just want a pump. And not even water Carisbrook people don't have over there. The same thing in a compound. The water come and stop at one point. Because it's only the people who labored and they have to labor well hard. Can't get anything from the Jamaica Labor Party. Only some of those who labor and labor hard. Therefore, our people need water. The people don't have Huntley Castle. They need water. When you walk these areas and see the condition our children are living in, it is terrible. It is not terrible, it is horrible. And we have to do something about that. Because when we don't have clean water, we don't have life. Because clean water is life. So, comrade leader, I am asking you, when I become the next member of parliament, we have to deal with the water. Because the people need water. All right. Pisgato Huntley Castle. 
everywhere. But if you ever come to Pisgah and go down to Huntley Castle, not even donkey, not even donkey cannot walk down there. Not even donkey can walk from Huntley. That's where most of our students are from. And I'm telling you, ponds, you have to drop off your children here. Let them walk around the ponds. Then you drive through the pond and pick them up over on the other side. On a main road that leads straight into Montego Bay. That leads to Black River. That leads to Santa Cruz. That leads to Kingston. And the road is in a horrible condition. I am going to fix that. I am going to fix it. It must fix. I was told that if I ever fix it, then go and carry me a coat. But guess what happened? When I become the MP, who can carry me a coat to fix my road? Nobody can carry me a coat to fix my road. Because I know I'm going to fix it. When we look, housing development, Lord have mercy. 13 years and they walk around now, but they let off one, one little key. I want them know about housing development. They need to go and ask the People's National Party about housing development. When we are give a house, we give away thousands of house. We are giving our one, one house and I walk around and I give a little one, one house and a cut ribbon. To one house. You see, I'm one house and 17 people living in it. 17. Because let me tell you something. I work with data and I task an agency to do a census from census because I needed the data to write a proposal and let me tell you something when they came back to share when they came back to share the information with us it was devastating our people are not living any life I am here to change the standard of living for our people in Northwest St. Elizabeth. I have seen lands in Holland. Holland and Empire's land. And a few them land. A few land. And I've seen land in Holland where we can build a housing development. Just like the one they have in Hodges, Mr. Rainwood. We can have a housing developing, development in our land. We can also have one in Houghton because we have lands around here. We can also build. I am going to ensure that I work hard because I'm always working hard to ensure that we get a BPO in Northwest St. Elizabeth so that our youths can be employed. Let me tell you something. It is only a PNP party that can save Northwest St. Elizabeth. But guess what? The chairman just pulled my shirt, you know. I'm here to put on my glass to that one, yeah. Because guess what now, chairman? This one, I'm here to read, you know. Because you see, this one, yeah, it lasts, what it no least. It's very, very serious. Now, I'm here to put on my glass to that one, yeah. All the farmers in that place, let me hear the time come. All the farmers in the place, let me hear the time come. Why? All the farmers in the place, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Cause time come, time come, time come, rain come. Let me tell you something. As my sister just said, bread basket. Saint Elizabeth is a bread basket. Right now we don't have no basket. We don't have no bread. Right now we are suffering from food insecurity. And we who are supposed to be the bread basket, we can't even afford one in our basket. Because number one, agriculture is in trouble. Yes. GLP you know, no one about agriculture. For me, I pick it till now, I know say PNP know about agriculture, not the JLP. And let me tell you something, I'm going to give you some data tonight. Because they said 17.1% of the people in Jamaica they reside below poverty level. Below poverty level. There's a post-COVID in 2022, 58% of the Jamaican population was moderately, severely food insecure. 